Lesson 5.3. Add, subtract, and multiply polynomials. There are always good things to know how to do, because sometimes you want to combine two or more models into one big model. So, how to add and subtract polynomials. You add or subtract the coefficients of the terms with the same power. This is called combining like terms. So you combine the x squares, you combine just the x's, and so on. So here we are. Let's add or subtract these two polynomials. I've color coded the like terms. We have the x squareds, the x's, and just the constants. Without an x, it's called a constant. So we're going to add or subtract by combining the like terms. So the x squared will add those, the x's will add those, and the constants will add those. So this gives me 2x squared, negative 5x, and negative 8. Let's try another one. Again, combine the like terms. So I have the x cubes, I have the x squareds, I have the x's, it's just that one x, and then we have the constants. And this time we're subtracting, so it's a minus between all of them. So this gives me negative 2x cubed, that's 9x squared, negative x, and negative 22. To multiply polynomials, you use the distributive property. So to multiply these, I'm going to take each of the x and the negative 3 and multiply it by the x plus 4. So you can see I have x times x plus 4 and the negative 3 times x plus 4. I'm going to distribute each of those. So I have the x times the x and the x times 4. I have the negative 3 times the x and the negative 3 times the 4. Combine like terms, the 4x and the negative 3x combine to make 1x. Here's another one. Again, I'm going to take the x times everything, and then the 2 times everything. So the x times everything, and the 2 times everything. Now distribute those. So I have the x times x squared, the x times x, um, the x times negative 4. Here's the 2 times x squared the 2 times 3x, and the 2 times negative 4. Combine like terms. So we have just the x cubed, but there are 3x squared and 2x squared, which make 5x squared. And we have negative 4x and 6x, which makes 2x, and then the negative 8. For these, when you multiply three things, you multiply the first two, and then take that result and multiply it with the third one. So I'm going to multiply the first two parts. So the x times x plus 2 and the negative 1 times x plus 2. I'm going to distribute in each of those. So I have the x squared and the 2x, the negative 1x and the negative 2. That's the distributing here and there. Combine like terms. 2x and the negative 1x gives us just x. And now I'm going to multiply that result with the third part. So each of these goes gets multiplied with the third part. So we have x squared times the x plus 3, x times the x plus 3, and the negative 2 times x plus 3. Distribute in each of those groups. So we've got the x squared times x, the x squared times 3, the x times x, and the x times 3, and then the negative 2 times x, and the negative 2 times 3. Combine like terms. The 3x squared and x squared makes 4x squared. The 3x minus 2x, we'll use x. There are some special product patterns 
we have the sum and difference a minus b times a plus b is a squared minus b squared. Square of a binomial a plus or minus b squared equals a squared plus or minus 2ab plus b squared. If you use the plus in the first part, you'd use the plus in the second part. If you use minus in the first part, you'd use minus in the second part. For our cube, the same idea. A plus B cubed is A cubed plus 3A squared B plus 3AB squared plus B cubed. And if instead it was a minus, on the right side where there's the plus and minus, you would use the minus. These are special patterns. You don't have to memorize them. They're shortcuts, but they could make your life easier if you do remember. So this one looks like it's a cube of a binomial. So that formula, we're adding, so we're going to use the pluses. a plus b cubed equals a cubed plus 3a squared b plus 3ab squared plus b cubed. In this case, the a is x and the b is 2. So replace the a with x and the b with 2. And then we can simplify with 3 times 2 and a 3 times 2 squared and the 2 cubed. Let's look at this one. This one looks like it's a square of a binomial has the minus, so we're going to use the minuses where I said plus and minus. So that makes it a minus b squared equals a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. Here the x, the a is x and the b is a 3. So replace the a with the x and the b with 3 and simplify. And that's all there is. Have a good day.